You need a financial advisor with the freedom to focus on your specific needs. Whatever your goals, Reed Potter can create a game plan tailored to you. Call Reed at 432-0777 at Pikeville, Kentucky to learn more. The Omicron surge of the coronavirus is on the retreat in Kentucky. For the second week in a row, case numbers have fallen in the bluegrass state, this time dramatically so. Kentucky recorded 46,000 cases over the past week, which is 42% lower than the all-time high of 81,000 set two weeks ago. However, it is still 50% higher than the previous record set during the Delta surge back in September. Let me give just a little bit of caution on this. Yes, we are really excited about the trajectory of cases, but remember, uh, this is the fifth highest week in our entire COVID experience. So while we are moving in the right direction, there is still a whole lot of virus out there. So we'd ask people to continue to be careful. The next couple of weeks, uh, the next month, we may see uh, really serious reductions, which would be wonderful, which might get us to uh, a place that we would all be excited about. The governor also announced a new program to help with pandemic hardships, this time targeting homeowners. The Team Kentucky Homeowner Assistance Fund will provide homeowners with up to $35,000 to pay off back house payments, property taxes, insurance, or utility bills if the delinquencies are due to a pandemic-related loss of income. If approved, the money will not be paid to the homeowner, but instead go directly to whichever entities are owed money. Uh, we want to make sure that we help as many of you out there as possible. So if you are behind on your mortgage, because of COVID, behind on your property taxes, behind on, on homeowners or flood insurance, homeowners association fees, or utility costs. This is a great way to catch up. Uh, go to the website and apply. Bashir also offered some tips to prevent Super Bowl parties from becoming super spreader events. Those tips include staying home if you are sick, getting vaccinated and boosted, getting tested before the big game, wearing masks if not everyone is vaccinated, and keeping crowd sizes small.